there is no official letter written suspending services in the hospital. There is only one authority that can suspend provision of services at the county referral hospital, and that is the governor. He is officially out of the country on official duties. All services at the county level are running, and I can allow you to go and move to the wards with the chief officer. Everything is running. Those are just rumors, and uh, we had a meeting today with all the consultants uh, seeking information on how we can improve services at the hospital. The chief officer attended, uh, the county secretary attended the meeting. I attended the meeting. We have agreed we are transitioning from the consolidated fund of the county. We want to ring, uh, ring fence money is collected at the hostel so that they can be utilized at the same hospital from level 4 going onwards because you know level 4 they charge some amount for services provided level 4 level 5 so the money will not be consolidated in the county uh, revenue account we have separated that money under uh, county health services fund already an account has been opened at uh, family bank uh, you know very well we are operating under FIF, that is a, a facility improvement fund. We had a bill that went through the county assembly. So legally, the county health, health services fund was launched by uh, the governor at Bohongo Stadium. We have provided a seed capital of uh, 59 million. And last Friday I was following up with the control of budget. She had not approved. Today I'm also following up on phone with control of budget to ensure that she approves the 59 million seed capital so that we can transfer to a commercial bank, that is a family bank, and we start operation from there. This money will cater for provision of uh, non-farms and pharmaceuticals to the hospital, service and maintenance of equipment, uh, and uh, other emergency services that are required at the hospital to ensure that we provide quality medical services to our people. We are the first county in Kenya to launch these services. So all other counties will come and benchmark in Kakamega. Kakamega, we are first to launch everything. So once that money has been approved, we move. And we have agreed also the governor has approved. Uh, we shall not be swiping any money from our hospitals in terms of revenue towards the consolidated account, all the money will go to health services fund. Uh, what else do you want to hear from me? Maybe about medication. Huh? Yes. We have heard that uh, most of the patients are being sent to the keeper in medicines. Is it the true position of the service? Medicine are supplied quarterly. The governor supplied medicine in all hospitals three months ago. It's almost expiring. We are putting in place a mechanism on how to fill the stocks because uh, the, the medicine that are there are not enough to serve for the next three months. And the meeting we had today, actually, we agreed on that. But the stocks that are getting depleted, let them give the budget now so that uh, the procurement process can begin so that they are purchased within time before we deplete the stocks that are there. And that was part of the agenda of the meeting where the chief officer attended. There are some other issues that there are some cartels outside the community uh, 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 and stuff to sell drugs in the private clinics or hospitals. We are involving DCI in investigation of those theft of drugs, not only this hospital, but even other hospitals where the governor had supplied the drugs. Some of the drugs were stolen and investigations are going on. The, the police are also investigating, and I know that's why you are here. Uh, the medical superintendent's office was broken in last night. The CCTV camera was stolen, and the CPU, uh, the, the desktop machine, they went away with it. It contains the record of the hospital. And we have informed the police, and the police are investigating the matter. The DCI wing of the police. Which areas do you think we are going to improve in terms of service? Uh, 
mainly uh, the governor focuses on maternal health care. That's why he has uh, uh, given a new directive that uh, we increase the payment of uh, uh, CHVs, the primary health care part of it, from uh, 2,500 uh, from uh, uh, 2,500 to 5,000 per uh, community health service provider, because we are focusing on maternal health care and the primary health care services. We don't want somebody with malaria in in Kuisero being referred to CGH here, just to, to congest the hospital here. That case can be dealt at Huisero once he has been identified. It's a malaria case. It is sorted out at the sub-county in Huisero to decongest the CGH. Key referrals like cancer are the ones now we can deal at the CGH. We want to decongest. That's why we are equipping the the, the, the uh, CH, CHPs as the primary health care providers in our county. And we are the first people. We are moving very fast. All other counties will come and benchmark on Kakamega. How much did you receive from the support percentage of our county the money that you sent We have received all the money. It was three billion pending. We got the money. And we are, we are trying to dispense of uh, with pending bills in all uh, the departments. We, we, we are up to date. And our budget next financial, here the governor has given directive that we upload procurement plan immediately so that we start requesting for this year's uh, uh, financial support from the national government in terms of equitable uh, revenue share. And our overall budget for this financial year is 17.6 uh, billion. We are a stable county, but we don't have a crisis. What is the status of the because I remember the governor was calling on the extension of uh, IFMIS. The extension of IFMIS was to provide room for the pending bills to be paid. Because once you lock up IFMIS, you will have locked all the money and the, you cannot uh, proceed paying uh, the same pending bills in the next financial year. So you close the financial year after clearing all the pending bills. That's why he was requesting for extension of the IFMIS operation period because the national government released the equitable share three days to closure of the financial year. So we were requesting for a room to pay our pending bills. Maybe the last one is, if you want to talk about setting aside a million Already the program is in place. The county's, uh, county public service board has advertised. The advert is there. How many nurses have they advertised? 21. They have advertised 21 nurses. Those are for replacement. Yeah, for replacement. Yeah. Then the new ones, we are going also to create a schedule. We are, in fact, in that meeting we discuss. There's a case where Malava requires how many? Marawa requires 12. We have discussed those things, all those things with the consultants. And we, they are all over from the county, from Malawa, from Buxero, from Butere. We have discussed the program on how to recruit nurses and other health workers. We believe that Lady Sue resigned. Is it connected with the health workers? And is there a ghost law within the We have had a meeting with those consultants. If there is ghost law, they will not meet us. They will be on the street striking or they will not be in their workstations. We had a consultative meeting and they have gone back to, to work. The consultative meeting was about how to improve service delivery. And they told us we have this shortage, we have this shortage here, here, and how to fix it. Then we gave them the solution. They had to work. The resignation of Medsu, he wanted to concentrate on this. Uh, and he has, he has indicated clearly in that letter. And already, there's an acting medicine in place in the office. So there's no vacuum. Saving life does not like the issue of creating vacuum in the health sector. He was instructed to do so. Maybe is there anything that probably have I have the resignation letter and he has not indicated in the letter that he was instructed by who to resign. He said he has decided to resign. He has not indicated, and we have put there, in acting capacity, a new 
acting uh, medicine to carry out coordination of services at the critical hospital because that is the counter referral hospital will not play around with life. So if I go correctly, health, health is not in crisis. It's not in crisis. How? There's no one complaining. Have you had any patient complaining? He has not been treated. Where? Bring one. We are up to maximum operation at the country for the hospital. Thank you.